welcome to this video. In this video we would see how you can move a WordPress website which is running on a cPanel server uh, very quickly to another cPanel almost in no time. Let's say this is a domain um, ethics.top and we need to move it. So not just the WordPress website but the files uh, along with uh, the site as well. It could be some other related files in, in public HTML or some outside directories. So. Uh, first thing we need to do is that we need to go to the cPanel of this website and then I'll just log it quickly once I'm logged in I'll go to the backup wizard I'll go to the backup I'll go to the full backup and then I will select remote FTP server. Here we need to enter, I will just select, uh, I would rather not like to receive an email once it is done. Now uh, we need to fill in these details quickly uh, and you can obtain it from the destination cPanel server. For example if you are moving it uh, from one server to another like A to B so you would get an IP address, username and password to access the destination cPanel and um, I have it so uh, it looks like this so I'll just paste this IP address this is very important we need to have this and uh, in case if you have an issue getting it or finding it you can contact your hosting provider I'll put the password here as well okay port is 21 and then directory let's say I would like to send the file to public HTML I will hit the generate backup button now so what we did is that we just entered the IP of the new server the FTP username and FTP password the location where we would like to take the files so I'm just taking it as a raw file to public HTML directory and um, when you see this message that it's in progress it means that your backup is being taken and um, the file would be there on the destination server very soon okay so we just uh, configured the setting using backup wizard tool of cPanel to send entire cPanel files to the destination server what we are going to do is to log in to the new server but um, when we work uh, with a live domain for example this one uh, this is the site uh, this is the URL which we are going to access used to access the cPanel. For the destination we won't be able to use this name uh, before changing the name server. So to come out of this situation you can access the cPanel of the destination using the IP address of your server. Uh, username and password would be the same which is provided by your host. So uh, this is my uh, new server's IP address and I would be able to enter the IP slash cPanel and uh, log in. There we go. Now I will just see where the file is imported. Okay, 14 MB of the size. As I can see, I'll go to File Manager. to public HTML. This is the backup, just 13 MB, very small. The actual size was about 50 and then after compression 13 MB. So this makes the overall transfer very fast. Uh, in some cases if the file size side is a little bigger in size, you can just re uh, re uh, reload the page and see uh, whether the size is increasing and you need to wait until it stop increasing. So 13.18 is the final size. I would extract this here. So as we are working with the WordPress website, uh, we need to look at the database and the HTML um, files or the other files. I will just move everything out of public HTML directory. And here is the file. So we need to look for home directory and you'd be able to see this is structure. So in cases if you have an email address what you can do is that you can just simply select this um, 
trash, logs, bales, everything and then move it, just drag it to here. But we will not do uh, this entire thing, we will just take public HTML, maybe go to uh, the files and I'm pressing the control so that it is copied, not uh, moved, public HTML. Now, uh, the destination public HTML have uh, all the files that I wanted. This is very helpful if the size of the site is very large uh, in few GBs because moving it to the local computer and then uploading is a very tedious task. And then once the files are here, what you can do is you can go and uh, get the MySQL file downloaded and imported to the new server. So you'll have to go to the backup that you just ex uh, extracted. We'll go to MySQL. This is uh, the database that you need to download. .sql and then uh, we'll have to uh, all right I'll just go and see uh, first how the database structure look like no databases so uh, I would quickly go to home and then the same familiar uh, database backup not the database but the entire backup wizard right there it is this time we'll go to restore then MySQL database I'll quickly uh, pick the file that I need to restore and hit the upload button this process will allow us to get the database uh, created and imported we just have to add the user to it. We will not have to create the entire database and then import and do all things. It will take care of everything. Uh, we just need to go and get the name of that uh, uh, user which was in the PHP uh, WP config file. So I'll just go to this page. I know what's the name of the database is WP underscore. Oh, right there it is go to public html to know the name of I mean to know the password so there we go I control C control V so I just copied it and I'm pasting it here user is created the database and uh, this portion was done uh, through that import option it's pretty quick and uh, I will just assign this user to the database if you're familiar with cPanel you would find this process very simple and easy to understand okay there we go so we have done all the things which are required to um, like move the site from one server to another we have everything ready what you can do here is continue um, further go to the domain registrar change the name server and you will be able to access the site on the new server uh, once the domain name propagates or you can use the host file to see how the new server how the files and the new server responds so thank you for watching and have a good day